Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number two. Looks like we're going up against an alliance called Zeus. All right, let me turn that down a little bit. Let's see who do they ban. Wow. I just used uh, Onslaught before. Now he's banned. Uh, Mole God and Hercules. And of course, we got Corvus and uh, CGR banned. All right. Let's see what they got planned. See if we can't formulate a plan here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, hmm. I can use. Let me see. They didn't. They didn't ban Hulkling. So I could probably use Hulkling. Um, let's see. Hulkling can do that first fight. Spot, I always think of um, Nick Fury. He does very well. Uh, so does um, Hitmonkey. So <clears throat> we'll see. Um that one doesn't need any particular counter, but we'll see. We got um, Iron Man who does get armor ups. So, I don't know. Claire would be a great one since she's bleed immune. And Bishop, he doesn't really get armor ups, so he doesn't benefit from this node. So I don't need a uh, shock immune. So I could actually, let me see, Lady Deathstrike. And let's see here. Hmm. Man, that onslaught would have went down so quick with uh, Corvus. Can't wait till he's ban immune. So... I'm thinking let me check real quick because I, I don't think um let's see Hulkling, yeah. <clears throat> so I can use Hulkling. Hulkling can do that fight. He could probably do the uh, spot fight as well. Um, Claire, maybe, and Lady Deathstrike. But I don't know who he's going to assign me as a mini, so that's going to change some things. So once I see uh, his plan, I can uh, give him my input, and we'll see. But just for my path, I could do um, Hulkling, Claire, and Lady Deathstrike easily. Uh, that would take care of that path. And then Lady Deathstrike could probably take out um, that America Chavez as well. Uh, Hulkling can do that fight as well. And I don't know, as far as um, any of the other minis, I'm not sure. Hope he doesn't assign me that uh, Killmonger, because that's an ugly fight. And I don't know if I have um, a good counter for that one. 
Although I have fought that before. Ugh. Didn't like it. All right. So we'll see what the uh, plan is and we'll discuss it. And we will be back with the fighting. Okay, so I'm going in here with Terax, Bullseye, and Infamous Iron Man. A very different trio than I usually do. Uh, I was assigned these, and I looked through, and I was like, yeah, these can work. Now, I tend not to like using Terax, because even though he's bleed immune, he is not poison immune. I do run the recoil masteries, and his style of fighting requires you to use a lot of specials. That is what I noticed, um, especially in these particular uh, matchups, because you want to keep that, you know, field up to keep the armor breaks going so that you can go ahead and uh, get your opponent down. And so I'm like, ugh. It seems just like it's going to be, if, if I wanted to turn off my recoil masteries, it would be better if I'm going to be using him. But I did decide to go ahead and ascend him because I'm like, it looks like I'm going to end up using him more often than I was thinking I would, you know? So this first fight is infamous Iron Man. Now, this fight here, his armor will continually come back. However, when he's armor broken, it goes on cooldown. So you want to keep him armor broken, or you'll start getting, you know, power burned or what have you. All right, so you can see here, he's got that armor break on him. And you got the auto block, but Terax is also uh, clarity. You see, I'm just getting smacked up, <laughs> you know, but um, he's also hashtag clarity. So once I get the uh, passive, I should be good. All right, there we go. Now I have the passive up. Now I don't have to worry about him uh, attacking, uh, auto blocking, anything like that. Okay. And as you can see here, you know, we're good. And as long as we keep somewhat aggressive so that we can keep that clarity passive up. Okay, you see the auto block failed? That's why we want that clarity passive. And you see how I fired off another special uh, one to get the field up, and then it's already down. But that's what, what one of the reasons I don't really like using uh, Terax. Okay, but he's a great champ. Um, as you can see here, I need to, to build up more because look at this. All while he's firing that um, special attack, I'm losing the uh, rock field. And it's really annoying because the AI is going to fire that special to drain that time away so you don't have as much time. So I probably need to um, build up bait their special first then fire my special so that I can at least get the most uptime for, you know, um, my my field. Now, this one I found very, very interesting and fun. I know how to fight Spot, but I don't think I fought him with uh, Bullseye. But look at the damage. Look at that damage. This is just heavy attacks I'm doing right here. Look at this. This is just heavies. That's a lot of damage. Now you wanna punish his special like that so that his spots go on cooldown. Now I don't have to worry about you know, him gaining spots, but it's now gone. But look at this. This is crazy. Oh, nasty with it. I believe that's the first time I have used Bullseye on offense in war, especially against um, Spot. Because normally I would use someone like uh, Nick Fury. But, whoo, he is not just for defense, as you can see. All right, so we got through 
uh, path uh, three, section one with no deaths. We're doing well. Now we got to deal with this Iron Man. And I would have liked to use maybe Magneto, but I was like, um, Terax can work too. Uh, Terax is bleed and shock immune. But this is what I have to look forward to when I'm using Terax. Uh, I will have to heal up because of the uh, recoil uh, masteries, which is the price you pay when you uh, keep those on. And I'm willing to pay it, but you have to be very careful in how you fight, too. Because you'll lose more health, and it could make it a little bit more difficult for you. All right, so as you can see here, he's got those armor ups, but because Terax is bleed immune, we're good. So right now I have to build back up to a special, and so I can start getting those armor ups away. Because if you'll notice, the more armor ups he has, the more he's gonna glance. That glancing is really annoying. Okay, but you can see here, I'm, I'm doing some good damage, but you got to keep that field up. Now, I'm still not used to fighting with uh, Terax, and just look at that damage. So at this point, I'm trying to get more uh, time on my uh, special two. But see, he's going to fire that special. He's just going to do it. He's going to do it. I know he's going to do it. Well, he didn't do it this time. There he goes. He's going to fire it. There we go. But we've got some good um, armor breaks on him right now. But I've noticed that the armor breaks are not removing his armor ups. But I am getting some good damage. Okay. And so Rockfield has expired. And at this point, I'm looking at our health. And I'm like... This is gonna be a mess. It's gonna be close. Because I gotta keep that field up, right? And there he goes with the special. And I'm trying to get some more armor breaks. There we go. Look at that. Oh, 1%, really? And we got him. But look at all the health. And now imagine if I had actually taken a combo or two. That'd have been it, okay? So it's very risky. And that's one of the reasons that I, I tend not to really like using uh, Terax. Um, but the next fight is going to be Bishop. Now, with Bishop, we know that infamous Iron Man is a great Bishop counter. And that's who I had assigned. Uh, you know, uh, for this fight. And it wasn't until I started fighting that I realized something. Because of the node, Bishop is shock immune. That's a two-edged sword. Okay? Because, one, it's, it's great because you're not going to have to risk putting shock on him which you don't really want to do with Bishop, right? Um, you don't want to put energy attacks against him. But he requires me to do a little bit different uh, in how I fight him. So normally the way that I fight with uh, Infamous Iron Man is I'll hit, I'll put a, a shock on him. That will allow me to do um, a heavy attack and we're good. But as you can see, there's never going to be a shock. Okay? So he's got energy vulnerability, but it doesn't really matter too much, really. You know? And so I'm like, ooh. I'm like, so this fight is probably going to be... Look at that. I'm getting smacked up. It's going to be a little bit longer than I was uh, planning. But at least I don't have to worry about the... Um, unblockable because 
it rem um, infamous Iron Man removes the uh, prowess. All right. So as you can see here, we're just fighting them like normal. Just, you know, use that uh, special uh, two. It won't drain him, which is good because we want to bait out his special twos as much as possible. And so I'm just like, all right, well, this is pretty straightforward. You know, not too bad. And he's down. All right. This next fight. I actually had Terax be the one that I was assigned to fight this defender. And I was thinking about my own abilities, okay? So I want you guys to, to see this, all right? We're gonna be fighting Mysterio on this node. On this node, he gets lots of prowesses. It's also incinerate and shock, all right? That's the node. So with Terax, who is only shock immune, I'm thinking, oh boy, I'm gonna have to play around the node by uh, just waiting out the right phase. Only attack him in, in shock phase. Historically, I don't do too well doing things like that. You know, give me too many things to try to keep track of and it's, it's dicey. So I asked if I could use infamous Iron Man. Now he's not clarity. So what's gonna have to happen is I would need to hit Mysterio only when he was stunned, okay? So that's what you're gonna see me do here, all right? Now, you notice that I wasn't able to get the parries, all right? Let me explain. Because I'm running the recoil masteries, I have double edge and liquid courage. I have two debuffs on me. Thanks to the node, each debuff reduces my defensive ability accuracy by 30%. So starting out, it was a 60% reduction. So I was having a really hard time trying to parry him. And now I'm having that hard time as well. And when they have those parries, I mean the uh, prowess, you see how much damage I was taking into my block? That's the danger, all right? So I'm like, ooh boy. But look at this. Look at that damage. Infamous Iron Man ain't no joke. All right, so here it is. I'm doing this. He evaded me, but I was ready. All right, now we're waiting. Got to wait this out. He's gaining more prowess. All right, here we go. Notice I'm just hitting him when he is um, stunned. But I'm assuming that my opponent has limber because it's getting more dicey to do it, all right? So here we go. Now he almost has two bars of power. The more power he has, the better my special two does. Look at this. Look at that damage, okay? But now watch this, guys. Watch this. Look at this. I'm waiting for it, right? All right, there we go. Oh, look at that. I'm so glad I had that invulnerability. Shenanigans! <laughs> but anyway, what ended up happening was um, the stun wore off. He evaded, immediately countered, but that's why I had that invulnerability for those kinds of shenanigans. All right, that's it for my fighting in this war, and we'll be back, and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. This one was a close one. This was actually a pretty close war. Um, good fighting, Zeus. Y'all did a great job. Um, look at that. Three attack bonus. That's it. Um, but I think we did pretty well. We're still, um, you know, ramping up and, and what have you. Uh, this was our second tier two war. So we're probably going to end up dropping down to tier three. And so our next war is gonna probably be a tier three war. Uh, and then we'll need to, 
start winning so we can fight our way back up to tier two. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.